tonight on The D Chicago, an ambitious go-getter I made a lot of people a whole lot of money. Wants to make a killing on vacation rentals. My nightly rate brings in $30,000 a month. This is exactly what I want to do. But is she trying to do the right thing? Ooh. Oh my, oh my. With the wrong people? You're the contractor. Yes, that's what they call me. The stairs aren't the code, the headroom's not the code. He's definitely yeah. both us. She's in way over her head. This is out of control. But if I can get her to take charge... I'm obviously here to see what the hell is going on. Her dream of becoming an Airbnb mogul oh. could become a reality. It's phenomenal. He may have been born in Ireland, but Sean Conlon was made in America. I have lived the American dream. He's built a fortune in the hard-nosed world of Chicago real estate. I came here with $500 in my pocket, and I worked as a janitor. I shoveled snow. I cleaned toilets. I did anything I needed to do to scratch out a living. At night, he started to sell real estate. After I got my first commission check, I realized I was never going back to my day job. And by age 26, he was one of the top earning brokers in America. I have bought, sold, and flipped billions of dollars of real estate. There's nothing more exhilarating than taking something that's tired and run down and breathing new life into it. Now, Sean's looking out for the next generation of developers. We need help. There's no crisis we can't handle. Investing his own money. So what's your ask? Two million dollars. And years of experience. We'll see how it should be done. To help them create great real estate. It's spectacular. Wow, this is beautiful. And their own success stories. You've helped me save this. Thank you. Right. This is The Deed Chicago. 47-year-old Robin Carter spent the past two decades in corporate sales, repping one of the biggest soft drink brands in the country. I love to sell, and I made a lot of people a whole lot of money. But last year, Robin was laid off. Instead of looking for another job, she decided to use her severance money to invest in her dream career, real estate. I think about people like Warren Buffett, Berkshire Hathaway, <laughs> you know, most of your billionaires, they started out in real estate. You gotta take a leap, and that's what I decided to do. Six months ago, Robin purchased this 19th century gray stone in Woodlawn on Chicago's South Side. Not only is it right next door to where she lives now, she got it for only $88,000 with high hopes of turning it around. When I walk into a place and it's been rehabbed, that's super exciting to me, that makes me smile. I'm a before and after girl. But what Robin struggles with is everything in between. Because now four months into the reno, she's finally realized the budget she set is nowhere near enough. I'm not 100% really mapping out how much a project costs. I'm gonna be like, oh, shizzle. <laughs> Red alert. About 10 miles from downtown, Woodlawn is one of Chicago's hottest real estate markets. So the fact that Robin got a historic gravestone for such a steal means that it could be a great investment. Come on in. Okay. Obviously, you've started doing some work on I it. I have. We're framing. The ceiling heights are great. It's bright as hell. You're yeah. probably thinking like white, white walls, I dark am. floors. Yep, white right, that's or very cool. light gray, which is okay. the new white. Will you keep the window or? I am planning to keep the window. Okay. Yep, the stained glass. It's wonderful and traditional. Yeah. This is my living room, dining yeah. room area. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. yep. And then so back here, what are we here? So, this was a change that was just made today. Okay. okay. This was the bathroom. All right. We're gonna move the bathroom. Okay, why? Um, we wanna open up the property even more so you can see okay. it from front to back. Yeah. It'll help from a lighting standpoint. Makes sense. People love open floor plans. I get it. It's, yeah. It makes it wide open. Yes. Would it be nice to make that change a couple of weeks ago, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Just a little expensive to take down your framing. Yes. I really like what Robin has planned. If she moves that bathroom and tucks it away by the stairs, she'll have a bright, open first floor with a huge living space that flows into a large kitchen at the back of the house. It's the perfect floor plan for entertaining. This is coming off. So you'll have steps here. We will have a deck here. And this beaten up old porch, she plans on demolishing it to make way for outdoor living space. Well, make for a nice yard then with a deck, and right? A deck. Yes. Very cool. Yeah. And what's going on here? They're rehabbing this house next door. Oh, that's so cool. So good timing. I'm excited about yeah. that. When it's time to sell it, that'll be yeah. fantastic. Having the house next door being renovated for sale is even more confirmation that this neighborhood is on the up. 
but it is important that Robin beats them to the market. <clears throat> okay. So, this is the master bedroom. For a row house, it's, it's actually yeah, wide. It's sizable. But row houses can be dark, so I really want Robin to bring back this original skylight. Yes. Anywhere you can get extra light from, yes. it makes a big difference. Yeah. Aside from the master bedroom and ensuite bath, the rest of the top floor will have a laundry room, two additional bedrooms, and another bathroom. All right, let's take a look at the basement. Awesome. Sounds good. OK. So what are you doing down here? Um, so what I'm going to do in here, there's going to be a front room yep. actually down here. So for lounging, then you'll have a bedroom, a laundry room, a bathroom, storage along here. Have you thought about somewhere where you put a kitchen? Might you put a small kitchenette against that wall over there or this wall? I hadn't had that built into my original plan. Right. If Robin builds a kitchen in the basement and puts in a separate entrance, this space all of a sudden becomes a standalone apartment. Buyers are sure to see the potential of rental income as a bonus. But it will mean more work, and I want to make sure that Q, the contractor that Robin has on the job, is up to the task. Hey, Q, how are you? Good, how's it going? Nice to meet you. What how are nice? you? Good, good, how are you? You're the contractor. Yes, that's what they call me. And how do you guys know each other? Uh, we met in the coffee shop. Yeah. Somebody told me he did a fantastic job from a GC perspective, and it's, it's been great. So how did you start contracting? I started about uh, 27 years ago. OK, I like that. What else are you working on? I'm working on a couple of more projects uh, on the west side and okay. uh, on the south, near south side here. Q has several jobs on the go. And that means Robin is really going to need to stay on him to make sure that this job doesn't get lost in the shuffle. I wanted to ask you about something back here, Q. I had noticed that there's a, see this, right? Yes. It's pretty slight, but obviously it's structural. It bows to the center, right? What are you going to do here? We're going to actually take this out yeah. and re-brick it, re-shore it up, and get it level. What do you think this will cost extra? We estimate seven to 10,000. You know, we don't even know what's going to come down when we start moving right, it. Right, right. All right, so you borrowed $140,000 to do the renovation. Yeah. Do you think that's enough? No, she'll, she'll definitely need over $140,000 to yeah. finish this renovation. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're probably looking anywhere between forty to sixty, dollars give or take. So potentially $200,000 total. Exactly. When do you think you'll be finished the house? Uh, we figure about 90 days. That's based on city approval, the city inspectors sign off on everything. Considering what's left to be done, 90 days seems just about right. And that means Robin's house will hit the market in late spring, which is a real sweet spot for selling a home. So you're renovating this to sell? I'm renovating this one to sell, fix and okay. flip, yep. So and then in addition to this property, I'm also working on a property in North Kenwood I'm moving into. What do you plan to do with your home next door? So my house next door, yeah. I'm planning to Airbnb it. OK. Um, no one could ever accuse Robin of lacking ambition. She's fixing to flip this place. We'll use her current home next door as a vacation rental to generate income. And she's renovating a third house that she plans to move into. So that's a lot of moving parts. I mean, it's a costly equation. Does it keep you awake some nights? 5800 is what I pay on mortgages alone for okay, the wow. three properties. Wow. Okay. Right, so that's a substantial amount. OK, so what do you realistically think you can sell it for? I think I could sell it for anywhere between four and 415. I'm impressed. Let me noodle okay. the request, and I'll be back to you, okay. OK? Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Right now, Woodlawn is going to a major transformation. The University of Chicago is expanding their campuses here, and renovations like Robin's are attracting more affluent buyers. Plus, the comps tell me she could easily sell her place for the $415,000 she wants, and walk away with a potential profit of around $120,000. That's an incredible win for a rookie. Well, thank you very much for coming. Good to see you. First things first, I really like the fact that you're reinventing yourself. Yeah. Sometimes I think I'd love to reinvent <laughs> myself, but down the road. Yes. So let's say hypothetically, I lend you the money to flip this property. I think I want to keep that property now. It's two separate units. So if I have the ability to lock off both of those units and actually have two different rental situations going on at the same time. I cannot do that in the property that I'm currently in. Have you a handle on 
what rent you can get? Um, it should it should work out well. So we're changing the whole game, right? Mm-hmm. So it's not a flip. It's become somewhat of a backflip, right? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs>